Greetings my healers, this is Nick Kentel and welcome back to Pokemon Academy Life Forever. It's Wednesday morning and here we are with Professor Cherry. Hi Professor Cherry, how you doing, good looking? Good morning students. Hmm. Nobody's saying anything. Not even Whitney and Hilbert. The mood of the classroom feels... Subdued, I guess the news spread quickly, about Professor Oak. Regardless of what else is happening, we need to work hard to prepare you for tomorrow's test. We are talking about critical hits, yes? Does anyone remember what the reading said? Hmm. Red, could you summarize? Your own words, please. I'm picking wit. Critical hits are a way to punch through defense buffs. Your wit increased to 11. Good. Brief answer, but correct. As Red said, class, if your opponent has boosted defense or special defense stats, a critical hit will just ignore that, allowing you to hit for full damage. Although that's not actually quite right, is it, Red? Um... I said something a little bit wrong there. Do you know what it was? The answer is this. You don't hit for full damage. And we get one point with- I'm- and on mood point with her. That's right! You hit for more than full! 150% of the damage, to be, ex to be exact. Of course, that's not counting standard damage variation, but let's assume a spe spherical cow for now. Huh? A spherical cow? Yeah, your fat-ass mill tank, Whitney, that gives no new people to this game a hard time. Who don't know what they're doing. A spherical cow is a joke concept referencing physicists' and mathematicians' tendencies to simplify complex problems down to an easily par parsable and understandable model. Even if that model is simplified to the point it has no bearing on reality. Oh. Yeah, she's not talking about your mill tank, Whitney. Relax. So we're not... We're not going to make an angle grinder to your mill tank, no. Phew. Well, class is over now, so let's take a look at the traits. Oh yeah, I need to get... Oh, wait, no, they're, they're almost evenly matched, so I'm going to put... Titan hey, Titanium, over here. There you go, boy, and I'm going to, going to flying class. Hey, excuse me. There we go, and Grusha's not here to this time. You chose flying? Yes, go to flying class. Okay, so, about Pokémon that are flying type. You studying something new? I'm trying, man! Good, good, trying is good. Let's see what Instructor Winona has to say this time. I would say a Houndour ate my lecture notes. But I'll save my dignity and pretend this was, all the, this was the plan all along. Today, we'll discuss a move that needs no introduction and no notes because I know this one like the back of my Skarmory. It's fly! Fly is the best flying type move, in my opinion. It's useful. Most flying type Pokemon can fly, or at least hover, but not all of them can fly. Yeah, like Charizard in red and blue, and that was fixed in yellow and onwards. Okay, I know that's a terrible explanation. It works like this. When your Pokemon uses Fly, it soars high above the battlefield, diving back to strike on the next turn. Oh yeah, um, Rowlet and the, the whole Rowlet evolution line it, uh, cannot learn Fly. How is that possible? That's what I learned when I, when I looked them up. In the meantime, most attacks can't hit it. You, all, you can also use Fly to travel outside of battle, but only if your Pokemon is strong enough to carry passengers. You wouldn't want to force that on a Butterfree, of course not. How does Dodo fly? I'll... um... I'll, back, I'll get back to you on that one. Maybe by flapping its necks. Delibird, uh... flies through the water? How can Taylor carry a person? I don't know. I don't know! Winona curls into a fatal ball underneath the desk. Man. Oh yeah, I saw this comic dub on YouTube one time back when I was um back when I was in middle school or something, and uh, uh the rival was using a spiro to fly. He was standing on, on a on a spiro and going woo hoo 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 and flying while while Red couldn't um couldn't get his Charizard to fly or actually Scyther. Yeah, that's Scyther. Classmates' bones increased. 
and my flying proficiency went up. Noon time, so that means it's gym class. I almost said lunchtime. Not yet. And that's how the battle between Champion Blank and I was actually much closer than you've probably heard. Alder, there is no shame in losing to a superior trainer. You need not defend yourself. <laughs> oh, he pretty much called you inferior, Alder. Even if that superior trainer was a tenth of your age. She was a fifth my age, at minimum. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Bruno! Keep this up, and we're going to have to battle it out in the classroom one of these days. I'll show you how much of a champion I was then. Actually, that might be a good idea. How would you feel about a battle in front of the class one of these days? Perhaps we could even pull in some students to fight beside us. That seems reasonable and educational. Excellent. Let's pencil it for Friday. For now, though, let's get those battle partners assigned. That's right. This is this is an upcoming battle on Friday. You you can choose to, to battle alongside alongside a champion or not alongside Alder. Agreed. Red, please battle alongside Leaf. Okay, Leaf is going to be my partner here. Hey, a stranger. Hey, a dormy. How are you feeling? Like I drank a tall glass of butterflies and they're still alive in my stomach. Uh, a glass of butterflies? I wasn't aware butterflies were a fluid, unless you put put dead butterflies into a blender. Don't do that when they're alive, that's just fucking cruel. Really? Wow, the Peloton educational system was truly atrocious. Hey! You're absolutely right. But I'd say a solid half of it was my own darn fault. Memory of a Magikarp, you know, for anything not about Pokémon. Who even sees- who, haven't, who even sees- says darn these days? People learn profanity a lot, and kids end up swearing anyway, so when, when they become teenagers and adults, no need to say darn, just say damn. Well, one, one day your memory will evolve, just don't forget me till then. You are, in every meaning of the word, unforgettable. Are you two done flirting? Jesus Christ, Hilbert, they're, they're not flirting. Red is after blue, not leaf. And by the way, I, I, there's something that I need to say. Leaf is, Leaf is, I see Red and Leaf's relationship like siblings, not as a couple. They, they, they act like siblings to me. Leaf is like a sister to Red, to be honest. Hmm, thinking about it. Yes, we're done. There we go, Red. And it wasn't flirting, just chatting. Thank you, Red. So we're battling you two, huh? The Unova duo. Yeah, looks like I'm the only one here who's not on the battle team. Shit, I'll try not to drag you down, Hilbert. You won't. I'm strong enough to win alone. Hmm? You seem pretty confident. I am. I beat you in the tryouts. Wow, Le Are you serious, Leaf? Lo oh yeah, because she uses dragon type, so that would make sense. Leaf lost to Hilbert. Oh yeah? But you lost to Red, didn't you? I didn't have my choice items back then. Wait, you mean... Now that I have access to my choice items again, I'll defeat you easily. Okay, we need to take him seriously. Focus on his Pokemon, alright? If we don't, we'll outspeed it. He'll outspeed us and destroy us with his choice boasted moves. Humph. <laughs> Did Hilbert even hear that? Don't count on Don't count on Hilda. If you spend too much time worrying about me, she'll clean up your messes. Yeah, he heard you. He has good he heard he heard you leave, he has good hearing. That is what I'm best at. Let's do this. Prepare to battle. Alright, Red and Lee versus the Univans, Hilbert and Hilda. Okay, we need to focus on um, um, Hilbert's Pokemon. So you start with Wing It, and maybe you use Energize. Alright. Energize should help. Powders. Ouch. Focus on this Cub to use Steel Wing. Try Steel Wing, and uh, Thunder Shock on Mastiff. Try that. Whoa, that that did a number. Ouch. Okay. Ouch. Okay. 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 Helioptile is down. Poor Helioptile. You send out Pikachu next. That used to be Rosa's Pikachu. She used to be Rosa's Pikachu. I mean. Okay. Now use Air Cutter on the both of them. And maybe Quick Attack on Cubchu. There you go. Okay, Snow Runt is next. Alright. Wow, look at that. Snow Runt is almost down. 
Wait a minute, that Snorunt doesn't have a choice item. You've a keen eye. I imagine you recognize what it does have then? What she has. Use her proper pronouns, please, Hilbert. Yeah, that's... That's the leftovers! Red, we need to take this thing down before it gets out of control! It's just an apple core. Why is she so scared? Because leftovers heals a little bit of a Pokemon's health with every turn. That's why. See? Snowbrunt healed herself. Use Steel Wing on Snow Runt, and you use Electro Ball on Larvitar. Oh, Protect! I forgot! I forgot that Snow Runt does Protect. Okay, Larvitar use Sandstorm, but Steel types are immune to the Sandstorm. Alright, alright, okay, enough, please. Okay, now, now use Steel Wing on Snow Runt, and you use Electro Ball on Larvitar. Oh my... Oh, Sand Veil, right. So, she, so Larvitar is immune to, um, immune to, what is that, electric type moves because of Sand Veil. Okay, now focus on Hone Edge. Use Air Cutter on the both of them. Use Electro Ball on Hone Edge. Shit. Okay, okay. Okay, good boy, Titanium. You you helped take out that Hone Edge. And Hilbert's final Pokemon is Prinplup. His Piplup evolved. Um, uh, maybe... Let's see, what... Okay, enough! I know, everyone's buffeted by the Sandstorm. Use Steel Wing on Larvitar, and you use Electro Ball on Prinplup. Wow, that did a number. Okay. Okay. Burial Ground fla failed. Defense rose. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it! Jesus Christ, let me battle! Use... Nope. Use Air Cutter on the both of them. Uh, try Quick Attack on Larvitar. Get rid of that Sandstorm. There you go. Okay, and... Uh, Aron is here. And Hilbert's Pokemon are down, all of them, that's great. Attack is down negative two, that's not good. Okay, now use Steel Wing, and you use Electro Ball on Aron. Ah, oh, protected! Man. Okay, Special Attack Rose. Sandstorm calmed, finally. Let's see. Use and uh, Steel Wing and Electro Ball. Okay. Okay. Oh, poor Pikachu. Try Ivysaur. Ivysaur, help. Leafs Bulbasaur evolved into Ivysaur sometime. Ouch. Sharp rocks. Use uh, Steel Wing and you use Vine Whip. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, you can do it! Steel Wing... ...and Vine Whip. Okay. There we go, thank you guys, thank you. Our one is down, and Ponyard is here. Use Air Cutter on Ponyard, and you use Leech Seed. Oh god, protect! Ponyard knows protect as well, I forgot. Come on. Air Cutter... ...and Leech Seed. Oh god. Okay, okay. At least at least Ponyard is seated now. There we go. I'll use try wing it and you use bark up because he's going to use protect again. I knew it. There we go. Attack is down negative two for titanium. Now try air cutter. And you use vine whip. There you go. Okay, and that Leech Seed should take him out. Come on! There you go, Leech Seed, thank you! Okay, Hilda has one Pokémon left. Use, um, maybe Air Cutter, and you use Leech Seed. Okay. There we go. Oh, Titanium is paralyzed. Ouch. There we go. There we go, try Steel Wing, 
One for Rum and you use... Let's see... Vine Whip, maybe. Okay! Alright, and... The Leech Seed should take take her out. Hold on. Yes! There you go, Ivysaur. Thank you. Good boy, Ivysaur, and good boy, Titanium. Awesome. None of my Pokemon fainted. Well, yeah, and Titanium didn't faint at all. Skarmory is the best starter, in my opinion, for this game. Wow, you two are seriously tough together. I don't think I've ever fought both of you at once. You're telling me. You guys are seriously something else. Don't underestimate Univins. Really? You battle teamers think so much of us? Shit, I don't know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You're welcome, Hilda. I've told you you're an excellent battler before. You wouldn't be so surprised if you just listened to me once in a while. Oh, good, Hilbert. Don't start. Just don't start. It was a compliment. Was that truly a compliment, Hilbert? Well, that's the mood killed. I guess since the mood's already kinda in the toilet, and those two are Bianca's roommates. Hey, sorry to bring this up, but... How's Bianca? She's not coming to classes, doesn't have any plans to do the homework either. What do you think? God, take the worst, most painful feeling you can... ...and multiply it by a railroad spike through the head. Your conversation with her yesterday helped a little bit, Red. I'm seriously thankful for that. Everyone in the dorm is. Yeah. But, I mean, she's still a wreck. My heart breaks that I can't help her. Poor Bianca. Maybe... maybe we can? Hmm? What do you mean? Dawn's birthday is coming up this Saturday. Dawn mentioned that she hadn't... that she hadn't ever had a party before, so I appointed myself most honorable chairwoman of parties. What if we, like, invite Bianca to the party? Maybe... Maybe she'll feel better, and we can invite the rest of the old Dorm 251 so all her friends are there. That might work. I'm not sure Dunn would appreciate her birthday party being converted into a Chira Bianca party, though. It won't be. We'll keep everything very positive and low-key. I won't go overboard. It'll just be a good time for everyone to get together and feel better about... about whatever's bothering them. What about Dawn's friends, though? Shouldn't we invite some of them? You're looking at him. At who? Re Hilbert? Absolutely not. You dork. What? She has more friends than me! Uh-huh. Name two. Well, if you count the anime, then sh she's friends with... Um, let's see. Brock, Ash, Barry, Zoe... But this is not the anime. This is not the fucking main anime. This is, this is based on the games. Um... Lysia? She's a club advisor, she doesn't count. And Lysia's a real bitch, I tell you. Okay, well, she should have some she should have more friends than me. She's cool. Not denying that, and I want to be her friend, and not just because I want to jump into her Altaria's feathers. Oh, that would be super soft, wouldn't it? But the point is that if we want if we want this party to have more attendees than the Supreme Queen of Parties herself, we're going to have to do some legwork. Tilting yourself and referring to yourself in the third person. We're reaching critical levels of smuggery here. Normally, I'd pause to graciously accept this compliment, but I'm on a mission here. My bad. Don't let me stop your crazy train of thought. Hilda, you'll be there to support Bianca, right? Hell yeah! I'll clear out my schedule, no matter what else is on it. And Hilbert, you share ice classes with Dawn, right? You'll be there to support her? No. Hilbert! Hilbert! What the fuck? Let me finish. It's just a birthday, nothing to celebrate, but I will be there for... for Bianca. Aw, oh, you do have a heart. Yeah, you just have to dig real deep inside a moody person, or, or a, a, a really grumpy person, or a dark-hearted one to, to, to go to their soft side. Her father was murdered. This has nothing to do with... hearts. But you still care for her, so you do have a heart. Family is everything. Losing family like that... I... Is that the end of that sentence? There's a critical amount of time, after a tragedy, where a person needs support to not go off a deep end. I expect everyone to do their best to help Bianca. 
Is this Hilbert? And hopefully Hilden I will turn out to be better than that. I mean, and hopefully Hilden I will turn out to be better at that than we are at battling. I can't believe I lost to you for the third time. You better believe it, Hilbert. Hilbert, don't be rude! Oh, there we go. That's the Hilbert I know. And Cotton Ball just went to eat. That'll be all for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Alder. You too. And guess what's coming up? Guess what's coming up this afternoon? You'll see. Wait for it. It's Quagmire looking blue. Look at that. He he's smirking at red. He has he has that he has that Quagmire look. Hi. Hi. There we go. There's the Quagmire expression. But I still like it, though. I like where that's going. Are you... Ugh, are you doing anything? Y yeah uh, going to have lunch. Makes sense. I'm starting to crack up at Blue's expression. Good talk. What? You said it, Lightning. I have absolutely no idea. We're going to have to ask him about that in homeroom. Okay, so we're going to meet up with Blue later, so let's see what, what Professor Cherry's teaching today. Electric type, no thanks. Excuse me. And traits, let's see. I could get my dark proficiency up a little bit, to 0.5. I'm going to study with Hilda. Mm -hmm. go you chose the scheming table? Yes, go to the scheming table and study with Hilda. <clears throat> Sure, I've got some time. I can probably help you with Dark Steel and Rock type Pokemon. Which are you looking for some help with? Study Dark Types. Hilda patiently guides you through some of the tougher material, but her energy is clearly flagging towards the end, so you call it early. God damn, I need a nap. Hope that helped. Thank you, Hilda. Your Dark Proficiency increased to 23.5. Your Dark Type Pokemon can reach level 23. Okay, and I'm going to to go to dark class for today. For the rest of the day. You chose dark? Yes, go to dark class. You know, I actually tried to avoid going to this class. I followed you, saw where you, go where you were going, and went to a different elective. How'd you end up here? Got lost. Ah, oh, poor Ethan. General studies. I see a lot of Dark-type Pokémon in this class, but only three of you are you training Grimer. A Lowland Grimer, of course. The ones you find in Inspira City aren't just Sludge, you know. They've got the Dark-type in addition to their usual Poison type. What's the difference? There are plenty. Their size, their color, the moves they learn, and especially their abilities. A Lowland Grimer like these ones have a unique hidden ability. It's called Power of Alchemy. If an ally faints on the battlefield, Grimer will copy whatever its ability was. Prankster, Magic Bounce, Drizzle, you name it. For tonight's homework, I want a two-page essay on how this could be used strat strategically. Think outside the box. I want something more than huge power is good. Of course, training a Grimer would be an even better lesson. You'll learn how to improvise in no time. Karen points out Alolan Muck's strong defensive typing. And classmates' bonds increase except for with with Sharon. Mine, mine, my bonds are with my, my, my excuse me. My bonds with him are going down. And look at that, Ethan standing next to his future boyfriend. That's cute. Again, standing next to him again. That's what I meant to say. And we're back in homeroom. Evening class. One more day before the big test. With the way she's hyping this up, either this test is going to be absolutely insane, or she's just that desperate to get her grades up. I'm going to do everything I can to prepare you for this test, besides giving you the exact answer, so please pay attention. Scope Lens, Razor Fang, Focus Energy, Night Slash. Two items, two moves. What kind of game is this? Which one of these is the odd one out? May? Eh? Shoot, that's a tricky one. I'm going to say... the scope lens. Okay, could you elaborate on this, please? Well, Focus Energy and Night Slash are Pokémon moves, and Razor Fangs are teeth dropped by a Pokémon. So those three are natural, but the scope lens is an item created by... Um, not Devon. 
Sylph, I think. You got it. So the scope lens is the only man-made item or move that in that list. It's scope lens. It was. It, it used to be called the Sylph scope, if I recall correctly. Yes, it was. That's very clever, May. Professor Birch is always gushing about you, you know. Ah, that's my dad for you. No, I'm afraid that wasn't the answer I was looking for, but it was still a correct one. I'll give you a little extra participation credit for thinking outside of the box. Ah, oh, what a good teacher you are, Professor Cherry. Thanks, Professor! Hmm. Red, do you think you know what answer I was expecting? Hmm. Well, it has to be... The answer is Razor Fang. Okay, and can you explain your reasoning? I hope so. Um, everything else increases your chance of landing critical hits, right? But the Razor Fang only gives you moves... But the Razor Fang only gives your moves a chance to cause the, the opponent to flinch. There we go, correct answer. That's exactly right! Well done, Red! Now, remember what I said in class yesterday about critical hits? That you can guarantee a critical hit if you have three different sources boosting your critical hit ratio? Focus energy actually counts as two sources. The battle drug Dire Hit does as well. So if you use a move with a high critical hit ratio, like Leaf Blade, after using a Dire Hit, it will be a guaranteed crit. Let's see. The exact ratios for no crit stages, one crit stage, two crit stages, and three or more are... 4.17%, 12.5%, 50%, and of course 100%. You won't need to know these exact ratios for the test though, but they're good to keep in mind. Now, let's move on to practical applications. Professor Cherry finishes the lecture while you stare at the back of Blue's head, anticipating whatever weirdness is about to come. I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your evenings, but not too much. You want to be well rested for tomorrow's test. Okay. Here comes Blue. Ooh. He's got that quagmire look again. Look at that. But he looks so flirtatious. Look at that. Hey, Dormy. Seriously, is is this going to be what the future will be like if if, if Blue is dateable? Is this how the future interactions will, will be if Red gets to date Blue? I mean, I feel like he's low-key flirting with Red right now. I like that. I'm a huge, I'm a hardcore nameless shipper, 100%. What is happening here? We're... friends, right, pal? Okay, if you choose no, then he'll he'll give you the same answer as this one. He'll say the same thing as if you choose this one. But I don't want to be mean. I, I really want to pursue blue and win his heart re with red. So, sure? Great! That's awesome to hear! I'm befriending you so hard right now! I said I'm befriending you so hard right now. I said! Blue, seriously, what is going on? It's him. And of course when I first played this, I, I, I had a feeling this was about his Eevee. If? What about him? He's not changing. Nothing's changed. He isn't glowing or changing type or retching up kidney stones. Kidney stones can't be vomited, technically. Ah, ah, look at that, he's blushing. He He's blushing, look at that. But it's it's pretty much a light blush. It wasn't, it's not a heavy one like when Ethan held, Ethan had his hand held by Red, but maybe, may, maybe his blush will get darker when Red pursues Blue some more. When their relationship goes further, we'll see. And... You mentioned you thought those rocks were created out of your bond with other people, so I thought if we... you know... My god, he looks so cute with that expression and blush! Ah, oh, look at that! He's slowly changing for red! You thought if we became closer friends that your Eevee would throw up some red foreveralls? He's blushing again! Look at that! Be still, my nameless shipping heart! <clears throat> anyway. That's how it works, right? That's just what you do. 
You just walk up to people, have a conversation with them, maybe give them a gift, and then... Huh? Oh, I got it. Here you go, friend. And he gives you a Sooth Bell. If, if you pay attention in week 5, then he had that Sooth Bell on, on his Eevee. Uh, Sooth Bell? I don't need that junk. My Pokemon respect me without some bell ringing 24-7, but it'd be perfect for you. What do I do with this? Ha! Typical. Look, just go into your inventory and ring the damn thing. It looks like he actually expects me to ring the sooth bell right now. Okay, if you don't go to the inventory, then then, then their, uh, their two dialogues will just keep repeating over and over until you do something about it. So you go to the inventory, miscellaneous, and use the item. The bell rings pure and clear. Huh? Sunnyside? Flan, come look! My chance is evolving! Great, you use the sooth bell. And Whitney's Chansey evolved into a Blissey. Nice, so I can evolve certain Pokemon with this. That's helpful. Thanks, Blue. Yeah, wasn't that a great gift? We're really friendly now, right? I... I guess we're marginally more friendly than we were before. Wait, were you giving me this because you thought gifting items to people is a way to make them like you? Or did you give it to me because you thought it would make me friendlier like my Pokemon? The first one, obviously. Oh, that's so sweet. Unless, uh, it... Awkward silence. Oh, flashback. I asked to dorm with you, Red. Leaf and Ethan, too. And you, of course, Yellow. That's why Faulkner... That's why. He said... No way. So I nagged him, over and over and over. I thought, if we were forced to live together, then maybe... Is this him trying? Of course it is, Red, of course it is. He's trying to be friends with you again. Well, at least he's not calling me a loser anymore and demanding a battle every five seconds. That's progress. Baby steps, Red. Take baby steps. Blue, you can't just give someone a gift and expect your Pokemon to make the make with the stones. I mean, I don't even know if your Eevee can do that. Just ask Professor Oak. It might be that your Eevee has a completely different power, or just a bunch of rocks in its stomach. Either way, he could tell us. Rocks in his stomach, Eevee is a male. Please use his proper pl pronouns. I told you before, I don't want it to pay attention to me just because of this Eevee. If I figured out how to get him to work before I talked to Gramps, then... Bah. I don't know why I'm going to you for advice. You tried to take the damn meteorite shard from me in the first place. If it was up to you, I wouldn't even have a chance to talk to Gramps about this. I... Jeez, I'm sorry. What? That was wrong of me. There's no getting around that. I was panicking. I just talked with your grandpa about how I was going to afford Kobukan, and our plan relied on me being the only person who can make the Foreveralls. And I guess maybe I was a little bit afraid that this shard would give you some kind of permanent, unassailable advantage over me. I don't know. I had a lot of stuff going through my head then. I was seriously pissed Monday morning, but... Well... Right now, I kind of just want to know what your Eevee's power is. I guess my curiosity won out over my fear. And for what it's worth, I am sorry. Hope we can be cool about it. When you talk to Professor Oak, maybe we could compare notes on our Pokemon. Blue, you here? He's stunned. Snap, snap your fingers in front of his face or something. Or maybe kiss him on the cheek. I don't want things to be weird between us. We're dorm mates after all. If A small handful of foreverals drops unceremoniously at Blue's feet. His Eevee curls his tail around his feet, looking very proud of himself. Blue, without saying a word, scoops them up and pockets them. And walks away. Holy shit, did he actually just get to me? Did he seriously get me with that? 
Fair play, I never saw that coming. Okay, you can gift people... Now blue will be available um, for gifting, and I've been waiting to gift him. Look at that. Find blue. You wanna find blue? And give a gift. Let's see. It's right here. I've been saving this black belt for him. I wanted to gift him this black belt. Give blue the black belt. Blue happily accepts the black belt. And three bone points with him. That's great. Let's check the social. And look at that. 135 out of 150 points. That's great. Mode is blissful. Plus five bone the next day. And it, it'll say gifted this week. Depending on who, who you gifted or not. And I figured it out. For example, I, I haven't ranked up with Hilbert, so I cannot gift him. But after I after I do rank up with him, then you will be able to, to gift him. Let's see, and there are some changes. Look at that. Uh, Raihan, where are you? Raihan, there you are. Look, Raihan finally has his chibi model. And Yellow's was changed. She no longer has that Princess Fiona vibe. And what I'm going to do right now is train up my Pokemon after gaining the um, proficiencies up, and I'll be right back. Yo, I'm back! I trained up my Pokemon, and the ones that I trained up are up to level 24. Look at that. See? Now let's head back to campus now. Oh, right. No ice proficiency went up today. Mm-hmm. Yes, 207 experience points each. Yes, 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 I know. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Everyone gain experience points. And it's nighttime. So that means we're back in... Oh, Leaf, hi. Hey, glad I caught you. Yeah, sorry. We haven't talked much, have we? I've been running all over the place trying to set up Dawn's birthday party. I thought making it a low-key event would make it easier, but I'm seriously not used to it. God, I wish I could just rent out a club for a night. I'm sure Dawn will appreciate that you didn't do that. Yeah, well, she's a sweetheart. I'd die for her. Anyway, what's up, Skippy? I was just thinking about what I should get Dawn as a present. Aw, that's so sweet. Problem is, I'm a bit low on cash. Oh, I'll cover you. I know you would, but I want it to be something meaningful. Something that actually seems like it might come from me. Do you have any ideas? Hmm... How are you at cooking? Decent enough, out of necessity. Because your mother taught you, of course. Great, I don't have a cake planned. I was originally going to commission one from May, but apparently she's backed, she's backed up so much she has negative commission slots. And she said that Lysia is literally chasing her down over some contest club mishap involving pyrotechnics, so that's also interfering. She's joking, right? I've never known Maine to use the word literally figuratively. Alright, I'll see what I can figure out. Maybe I'll talk to May just for advice about this cake. Good idea. Going to bed now. Don't stay up too late. It's amazing how little control I have over that. When I start to obsess over something, I can't sleep. Anyway, good night. Good night, Leaf. I should text someone before I head to bed. And I've been thinking about texting Bianca again to make her feel better. Look, she's at Mellow. Her mood is at Mellow. You want to text Bianca? Yes, text Bianca. Just thought I'd text. How are you doing? Hi. I'm sorry. I'm a bit sleepy. I think I'm going to bed early. You spend some time texting Bianca before drifting off to sleep. Thank you, Gardenia. Bianca and Nate have both calmed down. And the bones are going up again. Alright, Thursday. I'm going to stop right here, so thank you, my healers, for joining me on this adventure. Feel free to give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one. And don't get on my bitter side.